Raceway Park. General Tire Winter Nationals. Your pole sitter on Hampton, Georgia in the Jeff Matthews, number 12. That's going to be Ashton Winger on his outside in the Lance Landers 49. Out of Blairsville, Georgia, it's Superman at Jonathan Davenport. Winning World of Atlas Series champion Dennis Herb Jr. the 28 out of Carpentersville, Illinois. And on the outside of him, the reigning Gateway Dirt Nationals winner Tyler Herb out of New Waverly, Texas. And the inside of row number three, last night's winner out of Chandler, Arizona in the SSI Motorsports 20RT. It'll be Ricky Thornton Jr. And on his outside in the Wells and Sons Motorsports number 76 out of Evans, Georgia, it's Brandon Overton. Max Blair run up here last night, career best in the Lucas Oil Series out of Centerville, Pennsylvania. Chase Young hands. He's looking for his first career win in the Lucas Oil Late Motor Dirt <laughs> Series out of Manhattan, Kansas. Somewhere in Beckley, West Virginia, someone is smiling at row number four. Row five on the inside, the driver out of Richley, West Virginia in the 66C, that is Matt Cosner. And on his outside in the Papage Construction 46 out of Jacksonville, Florida, that is the Hurricane Earl Pearson Jr. Looking for his first win for Rocket One in his 19th in his career in the Lucas Oil Series, the number one out of Martinsville, Indiana, Hudson O'Neill. And on the outside in the 99, he comes to a set of Dresden, Ohio. And that driver looking for his seventh career victory in the Lucas Oil Series is Devin Moran. Seventh row back on the inside, starting 13th, running for the O'Reilly Rookie of the Year this year. You're defending Dirt Track World Champion out of Eatonton, Georgia in the 10. That's Garrett Smith. And on his outside, he has completed the paperwork and made his intentions known to run the entire Lucas Oil Late Model Dirt Series Tour this year. Out of Decorah, Iowa in the 16. That is Tyler Bruning. Brian Shirley, former Lucas Oil Knoxville Late Model Nationals winner. The 3S out of Chatham, Illinois. And Will Harrington. Possibility to run for the O'Reilly Auto Parts Rookie of the Year. He's out of Hawkinsville, Georgia in the 19M. Moving back to row number nine on the inside. Two-time and reigning Lucas Oil Late Model Dirt Series champ out of Watertown, New York. The 39 is T-Mac, Tim McCready. And on his outside, starting 18th, he grabbed the win in the UNOH second. B main already has a win in a crate this year. Picked up that win at Volusia back on January 19th. The driver out of Brendan, Florida. That'll be Kyle Bronson. Row 10 gets his first start in the Lucas Oil Lake Motor Dirt Series. Congratulations to Jack Riggs. He's out of Noblesville, Tennessee. And how about Blair Nodor? The driver out of Renner, South Dakota, makes his third straight start here in the Georgia Florida Speed Weeks out of Renner, South Dakota. Row 11 will be the 89. Looking a possibility to run for the O'Reilly Auto Parts Rookie of the Year, Waynesboro, Virginia's Logan Robertson. And on the outside, the reigning Hillbilly 100 and 2021 NASCAR Cup champion, Kyle Larson out of Elk Grove, California. We move back to road number 12 on the inside. We find the driver who was runner-up in last year's Lucas Oil Late Model Dirt Series point standings in the B5. That is Brandon Shepard on his outside. It'll be the driver that was eighth in last year's standings out of Fayetteville, North Carolina in the 18D. That is Dalton Wilson. Row 13 will be the last year's O'Reilly Auto Parts Rookie of the Year. Garrett Alberson now to Dubuque, Iowa. Spencer Hughes alongside at a Meridian, Mississippi in car 11. Those drivers get provisionals as well as the driver starting in row 14 on the inside. It'll be the driver of the Viper Risk Management 96V out of Benton, Kentucky. That's Tanner English, and on his outside, it'll be the driver of the number seven out of uh, Georgetown, Delaware. That is the boss, Ross Robinson. 28 drivers in all set to roll for 40 laps in tonight's General Tire Winter Nationals here at Bubba Raceway Park. So the top two in the points, they're going to start side to side. There you see the row three of Ricky Thorne Jr. and Brandon Overton. Now, Thorne can finish ahead of him. There's only five points difference. He would be the points leader with the orange spoiler Midway Sheet Metal coming up on Friday night at Alltech, Ben. in the Racing for Heroes starting zone down in turn number four, brother. Are you ready? I'm ready. 40 laps is the distance. $10,000 on the line. Ashton Winger on the pole. Jonathan Davenport on the outside. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is your Dixie Chopper Field Thunder. Jumps the lead in car number 49 to be another turn number two down the back straight away. Ashton Winger running.
of this second of this timer of Dennis Herb Jr. and Brandon over there. We got a step back brakes caution. We've got a melee in turn number two. Riggs, English, Robertson, O'Neill, and I believe that's Will Harrington. It is, yes. Will Harrington, Brandon Shepard had slowed to a stop as well. And they did get one lap in the book, so one lap has scored, 39 laps remaining, but the stop tech breaks caution flies as internationals here at Bubba Raceway Park, and they go green in the Racing for Heroes starting zone. The green track, Bubba, looking for all officials, getting control sorted out back under green as we start lap number two. Tyler is going to come to second down the back straightaway. And Tyler will get his first win of the year in the Lucas Oil Late Model Dirt Series. And we've got a car around in turn number two. I believe that is Kyle Bronson. Am I correct? In turn number two. And the 40B car brings out the caution. And we'll go back to lap one. Yeah, Kyle Bronson will rejoin the field at the tail, but man, not before. He swings that entry down into the heartbeat hot sauce hot pit area and has his crew take a look. At the right rear of that race car, you don't want to assume with the right rear crinkle. It could have happened in the accident prior, or that may have been what caused the 40B to lose the tail end of his race car down there in turn two, Ben. Yeah, he stopped at uh, Muskingum County. Speed so part-time flagman, part-time land surveyor, as far as uh, degrees of uh, the Jack of all trades, master of none. Green flag, six, <laughs> green flag is out, and uh, we're back underway. One lap down. 39 laps to go here, General Tyler Winter Nationals here at Bubba Raceway Park, and that time Ashton Winger gets a little better restart ahead of Tyler Erb. Tyler Erb now may fall to the clutches of Dennis Erb Jr. in the lap number two is from Jonathan Davenport, the high fight for the head of the pack. We'll see what happens. Young hands on the outside corner. They go at it. Max Blair and Devin Moran. That is just in the ninth place. Pearson running in camp. Here comes Ricky Thorne Jr. The top two of the points here. Side to side. Almost. Out of turn four over to Nancy with the one. That side by side battle there is Ricky Thorne Jr. Going to try to drive a nose down under him. Now they're side by side down the back straightaway again. Ricky Thorne Jr. on the 20 yard team. Brandon over to the 76 wheel to wheel. Three turn three and four. The battle for fifth spot. Once again, that time by the strike goes to Brandon Overton. This is on the show. How about this? The two best cars so far in the Georgia Florida Speed Weeks for the Lucas Oil Series. Going at it. Tooth and nail here at Bubba. And you see the 76 pointing that orange Midwest sheet metal spoiler. That signifies Brandon Overton is your current Lucas Oil Late Model Dirt Series player. But lead point leader by five points over Ricky Ford Jr. Ricky Ford Jr. looking to get in front of him and possibly claim that Midwest sheet metal orange spoiler at the end of the night. Six laps now in this one, Jason, it's a one point one second lead for Superman Jonathan Davenport. Out in front, another just start to enter traffic. Winger, this will be his chance. The two Georgians remain out front. They started on the front row. There's Jeff Jonathan Davenport in the one. Behind the 89 and Logan Robertson. This will be Winger's chance. Davenport will work the outside as we enter the turn number three as we work lap number eight. Yeah, the 89 of uh, Logan Robertson getting passed by those drivers. He's very slow coming out of turn number four. He might make the hard left hand turn down for the infield and call it a night. There's a look back at the gap between your race leader, Jonathan Davenport, and second place Ashton Winger. James Winger is actually really back in just a little bit as Davenport starts closing in on the back of the field. Nine laps down, 31 to go. One point one the last time, one point two this time. Davenport around traffic down the back right away around the 11 of Spencer Hughes. Then they get a turn three looking for career win number 66 in the Lucas Oil Late Model Dirt Series. The 11 of Spencer Hughes between he and there's a 12 of Ashton Winger. Winger's going to have to make four work for Hughes as they work down the back right away. 10 in the book. Winger gained a 10 last time. It was 1.1. It went to 1.2. Back down to 1.1 as he will drive the Matthews Motorsports number 12 down to the inside of Spencer Hughes and try to work by him as he does that. Jonathan Davenport tries to work by the 76 of Blair Nodor. There's the Earth battling for third and fourth. No relation. Tyler Erb in third. Dennis Erb Jr. running in the fourth spot. The 28 back up the front of the field. James Ashton Winger close back in on your race leader, Jonathan Davenport. By the way, Jim McCready, 17th to 10th here early on. Here comes Winger down the back right away. He's going to have a shot at that first Lucas Oil Lake 100 Series victory as they work by the 7 of Ross Thompson. Here comes Winger on the bottom. Trying to stay to glue down there. 
down the straightaway. We got a good one brewing here at Bubba's. The battle up front for the lead. Jonathan Davenport tries to sidestep the seven Ross Robinson, but can't make the pass on the outside. Wing are going to try to get a run on the inside, and they head into three and four. Davenport with a good line, though, in the corner. They want to work by Robinson, and there's that car in between himself and second place, Ashton Winger. Dennis Herb Jr. runs in third. Tyler Boyd ran it over to this fifth. Down the back straightaway. Now they work by the rock of the one of Hudson O'Neill. Third in the points. Jonathan Davenport out of turn four. Winger trying to keep him in a side step to the 15 scored. 15 down in this one. 25 laps remaining as Winger will try to work by that seven of Ross Robinson. But right now, just unable to do so. He'll now try to go around the high side using the same move that Jonathan Davenport did. He saw the nose of the car shove up the racetrack there. Instead, Winger loses ground. Davenport opens back up a 1.1 second advantage. What will these new tires? How will they hold up here? tonight. He had some go down last night. Right now, 16 to the books. They work by 17. There's Tyler right now in fourth. Brandon over to fifth. Then it's fourth. Blair McCready's up to eighth. Young hands ninth. The Ram is tenth. You can look back at the field right there. There is one of your early candidates for the Tonsu Building Car Charger Award, the 39 of Tim McCready. James, you mentioned that McCready is up nine spots, but one driver has passed even more cars. It's the driver currently running 15th of 96 via Tanner English. He's moved up 12 positions in this one. And Tanner English comes in tonight to win the points. There's Max Clear, the runner-up last night. Tim McCready has him in his sights as we will go halfway this time around with a 49 in Jonathan Davenport. And we'll have 20 down and 20 to, four, 20 to go down. And there's a look right now. She's got two billing car charge on the 96 feet of uh, Tanner English. James, that last time by Dennis Herb Jr. was able to slide underneath Ashton Winger in turns one and two. Move Dennis Herb Jr. up into the second spot. He'll now try to reel in that driver. Your race leader, Jonathan Davenport, who still has a 1.2 second advantage. This time by just past halfway, 21 laps now, 19 laps remaining. Got a 10 for the second off, 1.11. Herb got to work it on the bottom of the firm right there, trying to get it around Ross Robinson, going to make quick work of the Delaware driver he does. So that means the Davenport, as they come out in turn number four, Dennis Herb Jr., no lap cars between first and second distance of 18 to go. Herb able to close in even more that time. He was three-tenths quicker than the race leader as Winger still tries to work by the seven of Ross Robinson and make sure that he's not out of this race. 17 laps go this time, and Dennis Herb Jr. is there. Get all the nose <laughs> of the 28. Jumped up underneath the rear neck with Davenport, and here comes Dennis Herb to the inside of the battle for the lead. Oh, man, you know Herb's going to keep it glued to the bottom the best he can. JD to turn number three. He's still got a long way to go. Lap 24, that means 16 to go. He is all over him. The top three about to get together right here in turn one. Davenport, Herb, and Winger out of turn number two. This is Herb Jr. down the back straight away. And Asha Winger, you mentioned it. James Winger is closing in on this lead duo as well. It's about to be a three-horse race at the front of this field between Jonathan Davenport, Dennis Herb Jr., and Ash Winger. Next car to go one lap down. It's going to be the 40 B of Kyle Bronson. James, 25 laps short. 15 laps to go with the general tire winner nationals at Summer Raceway Park. Oh no, he got out of the groove. Here comes Herb. Dennis Herb Jr. takes the lead. He got out of the line, out of the groove there. And Jonathan Davenport, a new leader in Dennis Herb Jr. to go side by side down the back straightaway. Dust Davenport not going to let it go that easily. He tries to drive back to the outside. It turns one and two to Davenport. Find another line on the high side of the racetrack. Will that line come into play as they try to work by the last car of Kyle Brooks? Look at the run, J.D. getting down the back straightaway, James. We got another dandy here. Side to side around this eight shape, three eight mile oval on a turn four. Dennis Herb Jr. at the line by a nose. He will lead his third straight lap. Twelve to go. Out of two. Davenport out here. We take the lead down the back straightaway as they hit it turn three. Kyle Bronson right there in the 40B. Man, oh man, they were going at it. And Jonathan Davenport retakes the lead in Bubba. This 11 laps to go. Davenport's got a monster run. The last lap coming out of turn two right there. That car is very, very good on corner exit in turn number two. A little bit getting into three and four, getting into the, the more hairpin corners. Again, one and two, the wider corners here at Bubba Jinx. Turns three and four, the tighter corners on the same shape. Good one now. The last car of Kyle Bronson stands between the receiver, Jonathan Davenport, and second place Dennis Irwin, 10 to go. Have a
car number four down the straightaway. It is still as a battle back here between Brandon Overton and Devin Moran. Into turn number one, 31 laps. Is what you have? Nine to go down the back straightaway. The black 76 of Brandon Overton, the 99 of Devin Moran, and the 39 of Tim McCready. They run six, seven, and eight. Jonathan Davenport, last time around was 1.2. At this time, 1.2. 1.2. It is 1.2 if McCready drives down to the inside. Again, that is 6, 7, and 8 on your screen. Brandon over to the Black 76. McCready in the 39. And uh, Devin Moran doing battle with that driver. The 49 of Jonathan Davenport ahead of a three-car battle for second, third, and fourth between Dennis Herb and the 28th. The one of Tyler Herb and yeah. the white 12 of Ashton Winger. This time by James, just seven laps to go, six laps to go now for J.D. What a run by Herb. He's like that outside work, but still to lose a little bit down to turn number two. Tires so far so good. The last five to go coming up. Davenport, Dennis Herb Jr. Winger, Tyler Herb, fourth year top five. Right now, Ricky Thornton Jr. runs fifth, over to seventh. We may have a new point leader headed all the on Friday. It's a possibility. We'll see how things shake out right now. As you mentioned, Thornton in fifth, over to seventh. Just five laps to go in this one. David Thornton lead holding steady at anywhere from 1.0 to 1.2 seconds. Four laps to go for Jonathan David Thornton. One second advantage that time by. Ricky Thornton Jr. looking for his fifth straight top five finish into turn three. He is going to go to the inside of Herb. They've got four laps to go. Ricky Thornton Jr. They're side to side of the turn four, Dustin. Yeah, they're back up at the front of the field. James Dennis Herb Jr. is closed back in on Jonathan Davenport. And a stop check. Brakes caution flag is out. Blair Nodorf has spun to a stop coming out of turn number four. And that will bunch the field back up with three laps to go. Jonathan Davenport, Dennis Herb. Ashton Winger, your top three cars, and a three-lap dash to the finish here at Bubba Raceway Park. You wonder about the tires. Again, on this new tire rule, let's see what happens. Davenport slides it into two. Ashton Winger's going to have a run down for that grid. And Ashton Winger on the outside. Winger might have something. He'll go to second, Dustin, as we go to two to go. He may win this race as they come out of four. He's going to tuck back down oh. the bottom all, but the nose of the car shoves up the racetrack, coming off quarter number four. Davenport on the bottom. Winger now that he's that high line again. Watch the run. Watch the run. Still gets down the back straight away, James. He might have a shot on the last lap. White flag going to be in the air this time. Final time around. Remember here a year ago, Devin Moran and Tim McCready crashed across the finish line. Emma stop tech breaks. Caution is out in turn four for Ricky Thornton Jr. Ricky Thornton Jr. in position number five. A chance to take over the points lead. And the 20 RT brings out a caution with Unofficially, one lap to go. Not sure what happened. Yeah, I don't know what Port, Winger, Dennis Herb, Tyler Herb, Devin Moran, your top five. Dustin, can Winger pull off the upset? We're about to find out. James in a one lap dash to the finish here at Bubba Raceway Park. Green flag in the air. Winger doesn't get the 31. He opens up the door for Dennis Herb Jr. Winger going to try to get around on the outside. Down the back straightaway. James for the final time. He looks good right now by four car lengths. And the 66th career win in the Lucas Oil Late Monitor Series belongs to Jonathan Davenport in car 49. Second spot will go to the 12 of Ashton Winger. Dennis Herb Jr. crosses in third. Tyler Herb with a good run in fourth. And Devin Moran unofficially rounds out the top five as we wrap up the second and final night of racing action from the General Tire Winter Nationals here at Bubba Raceway Park. Unofficially then it was Tim McCready sixth. Chase